good morning students so in this class we are going to discuss about importance of maxwell's correction so we get radiation from the sun and also from the stars so the radiations travel in the space that is empty space where there is no charges that is electric charges as well as there is no electric current so the ampere law says only electric current can produce a magnetic field but the maxwell correction term mu not epsilon not that is change in electric flux with respect to time ensures that the time varying electric field or displacement current also produce magnetic field so though the conduction current is zero the displacement current exist so we can rewrite as that's ampere maxwell's law closed integral b dot dl is equal to mu zero epsilon not d pi by dt so in stars due to the thermal excitation of atoms time varying electric field is produced in turn it produces a time varying magnetic field so there is a change in electric field produces time varying magnetic field so according to faraday's law of electromagnetic induction there is a change in magnetic field produces a change in electric field and so on so here in stars due to the thermal excitation of atoms so atoms are excited the time varying electric field is produced in turn the time varying electric field produces a time varying electric field that is magnetic field so the coupled time varying electric field and magnetic field travel through the empty space with the speed of light so that is called electromagnetic waves so maxwell starts the with symmetry so that is argument with the symmetry his correction explains the important aspect of universe that is existence of electromagnetic waves so in this class we have discussed that is importance of maxwell's correction that is time varying electric field as well as displacement current also produces magnetic field so it's a best example that is in stars due to the thermal excitation of atoms time varying electric field is produced in turn it produces time varying magnetic field so according to faraday's electromagnetic induction that is faraday's law of electromagnetic induction again the time varying magnetic field produces electric field so these two are coupled to each other so the coupled time varying electric field and magnetic fields travel through the empty space with the speed of light so that is electromagnetic waves so his correction explains the existence of electromagnetic waves so okay